coming from a person who's been who grew up out west, was born out west, Chicago. Out west, Chicago, always been a, a hype dance music type of um, you know place in Chicago, like house music, footworking. I grew up on house music, you know what I'm saying? My mom, <clears throat> my grandma, you know, all that follow me, all that type of shit. You know, we, we like my family come from, we had big parties and, you know, all the family come together and we dance. And so, you know, that's what it's like coming up from Chicago, West Side Chicago, you know, dancing. You know, my mom's done full work, you know, Chicago full work, full work is still alive, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of positives that come from being growing up on the West Side of Chicago and there's also a lot of negatives growing up, you know what I'm saying? As far as the murders that's going on, you know, the gangs. You know, the gangs are so misinterpreted. The gangs were supposed to, you know, bring black people as one. You know, the gangs, you know, GD or Vice Lord or anything, you know what I'm saying? Those gangs was made to bring black people together in order to give us some type of principle that we should follow by instead of following the society principles. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna follow these principles. You know what I mean? These are principles that we should live by and you will have a better life. But, you know, the gangs, like, over the years, it turned into something evil instead of turning into something good. You know what I mean? So that's another part of West Side Chicago. The gang culture is real big. Like, people, like, die for their gangs in Chicago because it's their way of life. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that had a growing up in the church like how I did. You know what I'm saying? Some uh, only thing people know is the street. Like, I grew up in the streets, period. I've been homeless, lived in shelters. I was able to get a different perspective of the street, which is, you know what I'm saying, being a church and being good. You know, I was in college for a few years, you know what I mean? So it's just sucking up all the, the potential that, you know, West Side Chicago really has, you know what I'm saying? Like, we able to be so much better, so much more. I love the good in, in, in Chicago and, I, you know, the bad the bad thing about the West Side Chicago, you know, it's a, it, it, balanced, it, helped, it balanced the good, but at the same time, it's a change, man. It's a change. Yeah, for my hood to change, or you know what I'm saying, the West Side, Chicago, and America, for my hood to change, we need to bring more opportunities to the hood. We need to bring more, you know what I'm saying, camps, summer camps. And even the men need to step up, you know what I'm saying? They need to show the young, because you know, the West Side of Chicago, we don't have dads. Like, I never had a dad in my life, really, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what another thing is, and this is everywhere. The man, the young man is yearning for guidance. They're yearning for a father figure, you know what I'm saying? So West Side need more role models to, you know, guide us in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, the pastors, you know, we got the churches and the pastors and all that, but the world changing every day, man. You know what I'm saying? We, the past is cool and all that's cool, but we need to keep improvising, keep being creative with getting the people to, you know what I'm saying, step up, getting the, getting the youth and the, the man to, you know what I'm saying, see better, to be guided better, you know what I'm saying, be led in the right direction.